What's going on YouTube? My name is Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 page, or you can catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And we're going to do a little bit different. I hope you had a good weekend. It's Sunday. I'm back with another video. Took me, this weekend I hung out with the girlfriend, had a really good weekend. Um, didn't make any videos, but I enjoyed watching the news. Uh, the Mars rat hit big, and I'm wondering all these Mars things are hitting big. So instead of doing a Curiosity rover like most people are doing this week, I decided to take one of my best this is one of my favorite images because it really, to me, it seems uh, this was found by J.P. Skipper from the Mars Anomaly Research Center. His website is awesome. If you have never checked that out before, I'll put a link down below as well as a link to this picture. Um, let me go ahead and back it out a little bit. And it's one of the long strips. It was taken by the Mars Orbiter Camera. Um, this was taken in the year 2000. Um, and here's the website that you can get it from. They've got all of the, uh, they have so many pictures out there. You want to get this one right here that says uh, Looseless GIF, G -R -G -I -F, best quality slow download. It's not gonna, It's not that slow a download. It's not that big of a file, especially if you're used to getting the new Curiosity files and things like that. So let's take a quick, let's take a look here at the uh, first anomalies. Don't mind my cat there. He's just running around having a good time. He's called Roger the Alien from, uh, he's named after American Dad, huh, buddy? But so to me and honestly this was this is not my find this was found like I said by JP Skipper a while ago and this photo always intrigued me um, and what was claimed is that these are sprayers and you can see them spraying some sort of liquid or sand um, out of these tubes which connect into these almost heart or lung looking like devices here um, they just you know they would just look like mounds otherwise um, it looks like there's a couple roads leading away um, that, you know, something made this path right here. But let's get up on it and look as close as we can. I hate when that happens. Um, okay, so at first we're saying, is this a trick of light or something like that? And the sprayer is right here, and I can say you can see the shadow of the sprayer. See the shadow here and the sprayer. Um, and this looks like if you ever use the hose, you know, it comes out in a real thick and then it just you know disperses um, so let's see also the shadow you can actually see the shadow here of the liquid or whatever the, the sand whatever it's doing uh, they've got a whole different atmosphere a whole different uh, evolution on Mars so who knows what they need to do to stay alive especially if they say it was like an, an alien civilization so this is actually saying that there is a civilization on Mars right as of 2000 that was terraforming and uh, creating places either you know for food for sleep something they're doing some mining maybe something some of these look like some of the sprayers out of the mining operations here on earth uh, maybe it's pumping water out of here um, but to me it looks like it's building these see how they're small now but Let's take another look at this one over here. It, this looks like this could be another sprayer as well. Um, see how as you come along, you've got these. There's one here, one here, one here. They're kind of like braces that would hold it together. And it comes down in just like the other into this uh, kidney shape looking thing. Now let me go ahead and I'll uh, let me sharpen this up just a tad and maybe give it a little bit more levels and a little bit of contrast okay so we can t really take a good look here um, here we go so you can see there's that shadow on it and that was, this would be the spray nozzle it comes to here comes on down and flows in now what's interesting about this picture is see how it's, it looks like it's creating these right here um, and I was thinking if, if there wasn't much atmosphere, and this is just a thought, you know, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a geologist, I'm just somebody who looks at pictures. If you're coming here, I mark these entertainment for a reason, because this is just fun to me. This uh, intrigues me, I love it, something I do for fun, I hope you enjoy it, I hope I'm giving you something to go look at, and I really hope you download the pictures, so let's take a look here. Um, around these craters, you see these, do you see, they look like little sand piles. Um, now at the atmosphere, at this area needed to be you know is not as great maybe some of the solar radiation needs to be stopped so maybe a pile of sand would do just perfect to stop some of the radiation a pile a big pile of dirt um, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit on these and when you get down to the bottom of this picture I'm going to go slow and I'm going to give a little bit more contrast oh, a little bit too much let me use my actual mouse I'm going to take it from here and slowly just give you the contrast. 
so you can see it come through okay now let me reset it to how it came give it a little bit more sharpness okay and come on down now like I said I thought this road was either something this could either be a water drip or this could be a road that leads out to other places or it takes you up to the mine the operations this could be buildings and this is just total speculation coming from my head what I see uh, but around this seems like another one of these domes and you can't see it all here but on top of this one you've actually got these little structures as well now as we go down this is where it starts getting very interesting well the top is the most interesting part but we'll, so we're going to start to see these let me move this out of the way more and more and these things are all over Mars just as they're, the sand piles are all over you know all over the earth as well but I've never really seen them being made by something that looks like a sprayer <laughs> um, here we go as we start getting down into the uh, rest of the picture let me give it a little bit more brightness You've got some sort of uh, object here that I'm not sure if this, you know, this is very, just kind of interesting to me how it looks. Um, leave your comment below. Let me think what you guys think of this. And this is really far fetched, and you're going to have to put your, take any concept of thinking you have here and just toss it away. Um, but these things, some of them are straight all the way through. Let's give it a real, let's see here. Some are straight all the way through. Some come down. And they always seem, they come up something and they come down. This looks like it's got a one, like a circular building or something in the middle. I'm just calling it building, uh, you know. And then it comes out. And once it here, it does the same thing. And what's interesting is, is that it picks up here where it was. So this was just a natural, you know, a natural thing happening for it to pick up where it was that's that's pretty neat um, here you've got another perfectly round shaped dome uh, with a couple of these on the side of it and a couple little ones coming but as we come down you're gonna keep seeing them and seeing them it gets uh, it gets very interesting so what could these be leave me a comment below uh, let me know what you think I mean this stuff uh, your comments are what make it keeps me going here I enjoy reading them I try I try to get to every comment and reply to them um, like I said I'm this isn't my full-time job I really actually don't spend a lot of time with this at all I don't have enough time anymore like I used to um, between work life girlfriend animals fun stuff my other hobbies and here's another one of these like uh, lung shaped things and see how they've got these coming out of it so what these could be uh, I could picture if I just shut my eyes I could picture these being tunnels with uh, you know underground facilities like maybe up near Derek Kuyu here in off on earth um, like some of the places in Turkey um, let's see oh, there goes my keyboard and we'll keep coming down and see how intricate these get so if these were done by the wind and not actually sculpted or maybe there's something that's alive who knows this cross pattern this cross etching you get you know it almost looks like they're they were terraforming up the top there to look more like this down here or to set up some sort of uh, you know complex or city let me drop this brightness back down it's a little that's uh, a little bright Okay, and you're gonna have to go get this if you really want to see this good. Go grab it. It's not that big of a download, but you can see the the cross etching, how some things look like they're connected, and this could just be done by wind and sand. I, I know that. You know, I, I'm not on Mars. None of us are there. We'll never really know. Hopefully, you know, at some time, humanity may know. Uh, that may that would be stupid for me to say that otherwise, but. I know half the people come here probably think I'm stupid for just doing this as I am, but I love it. I enjoy doing it. Uh, I hope you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. If you're watched this far and you're listening to me now, you must. And uh, let's keep going here. We don't have too much further to go. I like. I listen to the to the recommendations from the users or the subscribers. The people come comment and they say go slower. Don't don't bounce around this much because I get myself rolling here and it's like bam 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 bam. Um, so look at here, look how it starts off uh, really small, these lines, and it just grows up. It's very interesting to me. Um, are these underground tunnels? Maybe this is a tunnel system, and these aren't actually tunnels, but they're struts or something for them, or some sort of, uh, of way of keeping, keeping them together in the structure. But as you see here, there's some more as they come down. Here's where they 
they're still going and this is the end of it so they're all over this area of Mars like I said this was taken in 2000 I'd really like to see I tried to find another orbiter picture or some recent pictures of the same longitude latitude and once again I'll let you look at this part this this is pretty cool so you've got crisscrossing like uh, patterns here let me go ahead and do that bam bam just really cool and then once again let's take a look at what I think are sprayers and like I said this was uh, found by JP Morgan over at the Mars Anomaly Research Center I hope you guys check that website out I will link it below he's back up online everybody was worried about him because his, his uh, he had had some issues or something and his, his, he actually dropped offline his website so the only way I could get to it was the Internet Archives uh, but we're back in business now and this is the only place you see these long type tubes here so I would imagine if you were going to work on setting see you've got these they're really small here if you're gonna work on these and maybe you needed to wet this down and you imagine if you're making things with sand um, like the guy I've got a guy at Ocean, I live near Ocean City Maryland he comes and does sand art he does a lot with the you know with the hose he's got to actually wet the sand down make it perfect and by the time he's done he adds a little bit of glue to the sand the sculptures will stay there for weeks without you know as long as no people don't touch them it doesn't rain that bad on them there's not too big a storm so they'll stay there for a really long time and uh, maybe this is part of it but see how over here it looks like it's already been finished uh, maybe that's why this right here is there maybe that's not a road maybe that was a path of the uh, the hoses or whatever this is to the nozzle of the sprayer maybe once it was here spraying these over here and creating but anyway I've blabbed for a long time here I don't want this to run too long check it out I'll be back with some more curiosity rover ones I promised some people I would do more of the moon I love the moon anomalies and there's so many more to do I think this is going to be my 34th video on Mars I've got another six in the can waiting to go that I've got to get done and uh, I don't have to get done but I, I want to get done I want to make like I said I want my website and I want this channel to be where, where everybody can see the anomalies you can see them easily you can give a comment you can talk to each other and have a place where if you want to argue that's fine argue it out just don't be rude don't be indignant much love I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend if it's not the weekend it's just the work week because you're catching this later on hope you have a good day much love